Hello again. So today I have a couple of projects. I'm just going to do one this morning. Um, we got a little bit of rain just a few minutes ago. You can see the ground's a little bit wet. Just a little bit. Um, just enough to rinse the dust off a few things. And it smells really good out here. And uh, pardon me if I sound like I have a cold. I don't. I'm a little congested this morning just from the... Just from the weather, so I'm sniffling a little bit. And uh, what I'm going to do today, I have a little bit of congestion going on over here, too. Look at this mess. Look at all this stuff. Um, I kind of need to organize. So yesterday, my buddy and I, Neil, were over at the Galt Street Fair. And um, I actually went just to pick up this blue barrel cactus that I got from... Um, from uh, Kazumi Nurseries. She comes out there every month. They do a street fair on the first Saturday of every month in a small town called Galt. And these guys come out with all their, their plants. And so she had this one, sent me a picture of it last week. And, uh, you know, of course I wanted it because it's pretty cool. <laughs> and as I was walking down to her booth, I ran into another small, I don't know their names, um, but they had a little booth they were Mexican and they did not speak English, so I couldn't really get much information. Um, but they were really nice. And so I got this plant, which you can see is probably, I don't know, it's easy, easily a foot and a half tall. It was only $25. And then this great big one that's like three feet tall in a huge pot. Um, and look at that flower. I had another one there that's already done, but... I'm not sure if this one's already bloomed or if it's about to bloom. So I'm just watching it. But $25 for this great big cactus. And uh, so I just grabbed them because, well, because I wanted them. <laughs> and then I and I got my blue barrel. And then I bought some small plants. I don't know what I did with them. Where did I put them? Um, some of their little, you know, $2, you know, little rooted cuttings are... Um, I'm going to add them to my succulent gutters. So anyway, today I'm going to have to reorganize some stuff over here. My Tradescanthia, it's getting too much sun here. It's not happy. I mean, it's growing. That piece way down under there, uh, which gets a lot of shade, is doing a lot better. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to rip out all these plants. I shouldn't say it like that. I'm going to remove all of these plants. And um, I'm going to replant this fountain. And the reason it looks so rough the way it does, I'm getting poked here by this cactus. I think it's got some sharp spines. Um, is because in the spring, um, it looked really good. But what happens is we have a crack right up there. And um, you see how it's just dripping. And that was just from light rain. So I need to fix that. And what I did last year is I would put an umbrella. I have a big umbrella that just kind of lays. And it just sort of covers the whole top here. And it kept this water because this fountain didn't have any drainage. And it was just constantly flooding. And as you know, your succulents aren't going to like that. So the umbrella helped. But what I did was in the spring, I pulled all the plants out. And we drilled a bunch of holes in the fountain. So now it does drain. And I did get up there and clean out the gutters. Uh, you know, so it, the water wasn't pouring out of there, but it is still dripping. So I will probably have to bring my umbrella back out over the winter. Um, because I, I, you know, if we get as much rain as we got last year, I'll definitely need to protect this. But I'm going to redo this and I'm going to make it a little cactus fountain. And I'm going to pull all these succulents out and I'm going to add these to my gutters. I'm going to go through, clean them up and, um, you know, just get them out of there. But after we drilled the holes in, I threw some dirt back in there and I just stuck all these plants back in there. I didn't try to organize them or, you know, I, <laughs> I just crammed them all back in there and I kept meaning to come back and pull them out and trim them up or whatever. And I just never did. And so they, you know, they're just, they're just growing, you know, some look good, some do not. I don't even know what's all in there. So that's what I'm going to do today. So stay tuned and I'm going to clear out a little pathway so I can actually get back into there and uh, I'll set my camera up so you can kind of watch what I'm what I'm up to so stay tuned okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is 
actually I need something to put these plants in so hold on one second okay just got a big cardboard box so I am just going to get my box try to hold it off the ground because it's a little bit wet right here uh, how am I gonna do this the sides of the box are sticking up and hitting everything okay so I think I'll I'll start with these little ones here and they're just there it's really dry I haven't watered any of this in a while and <laughs> the roof is dripping on me there was a plant in this top part I don't know if you can see that but it, I don't know what happened to it it's gone so um yeah these are in here pretty good okay I actually am going to try and set this over there out of the way okay and I'll pull these these are like I don't know little Vera Higgins whoops so the roots on these <laughs> it's it's actually growing new roots because <laughs> the way I threw it in there it looks like the root kind of just died off and they're just rerooting themselves so I'm just gonna pull this whole chunk out and drop it down in there um, here this feels like a little Agavoides get it out of there it's got some mealy bugs going on here so I'll go through all these plants yeah this one's really bad I'll go through all of that and and treat these and see if I can get that under control before I do anything with them same thing here yeah these are all gonna be probably infested but like I said I have been neglecting these plants for quite a while so here's a big Fred Ives that really hasn't done much this whole time it's been in here. It looks healthy. I don't know what they're barking at. Um, I got some, looks like some ghosties. These, these are all just popping up here. So it looks like some little ghosty babies in there. But this Fred Ives has not produced any pups or anything. And it's been in here for, I don't know, since last year sometime. So... Maybe it's just not happy over here. Um, whatever this is, I barely touched this leaf, and these leaves are falling off. They just they just fell right off, so I'll save these little leaves. But I'm going to chop most of these and reset them as cuttings and uh, see how they do. But... Uh, yeah, I do want to get, uh, you know, I want to save as many of them as I can and just replant them. So this whole section, you can see this plant has produced lots of little pups, but I'll clean all this dead stuff off. Um, this is a nice, healthy plant. Everything's flowered. You can see I cut the flowers out of there a while back, the, the bloom stalks. Throw those down in there. Um, I got some little, <laughs> this whole little piece just comes off. I will separate all of these, go through them one at a time, treat them all for mealybugs. I've had, I got some little leaf propagations that started under there on their own. Um, I've had the worst problem with mealybugs this year, more than I've ever had. And mainly because, whoops, um, I just haven't been paying attention to the plants you know I haven't been checking on them and really really examining them and if you don't do that regularly and you get one little issue it becomes a big issue this thing is pretty cool it's just kind of can't yeah, see all the mealy bugs down in there little devils this thing is just shoots across and starts plant after plant after plant and their little flower stalks I'll cut that off and just get rid of it covered with mealy bugs um, I had this, I've had this, um, sunburst aeonium in here, and it's a nice healthy plant, does have a little mealy bug in there. Oh, I gotta, guess you want to see it over here. Um, it's a beautiful plant, and also never produced a pup, although it's grown, it's absolutely massive over here. Um, and, uh, so I'll have to, uh, reset that I might just put that one in a pot this big this big aeonium 
and give it its own pot. Um, I did stick some ghosties in here. And as you can see, you know, these little ghost plants, you can't kill them. You can even try, you can neglect them. And <laughs> look what they do. They just grow. They, they send off roots when they think they need more water. So I'll just chop all these and reset them as cuttings and they'll take off. And I might throw the stems over in my little garden of death. I just dropped a chunk of dirt on top of my poor little aloe here. So this is a, this aloe is got a lot of roots. Look at that. These roots from the aloes will really take over. Um, this is a starry night and I don't know, some kind of little jade. It looks like a little crassula. Um, and, uh, these things just take over. Look at all the little pups on it. And this was actually a tiny pup. I took off of a big plant that I got and it's got one, two, three, four, five, five separate little pups on here. So I'll definitely replant that. I don't know if I'll put that one in my gutter. Um, yeah, here's some more crassula. I'm not a big fan of the jades, um, the jade plants. I don't know what this is, but oop, look at the mealybug. Um, this was, I mean, it's growing. It sent off some pups, but it's lost all its color. And I'm not sure why, because this was like a purple, a purple plant. Ugh. And, um, it, <laughs> a little, another little leaf prop. I'll stick that up here. Oh, oh, here's, <laughs> you know what? I was thinking to myself, didn't you just buy a few little cheap cactus a couple days ago when you were thinking about doing this? And I looked all over and here they are. <laughs> I just set them up on this table that is right behind the camera here. I thought I did. Now I know I did. Okay. Um. I forget what I was saying. I, I have a tendency to just babble. I don't even real, realize what I'm, what I'm saying. So I think I'm going to take all the soil out of here since this is so infested with mealybugs and start with fresh soil, but I'm not going to bore you with that. So I will be right back. Okay. All cleaned out. And, um, here are the two drain holes. They're pretty big. I'll put a piece of uh, screen over them and I thought we put more, but I remember it was really hard dr drilling through here. And so I think it took a long time just to get two. And we used a cement bit too. And, um, but it worked really well when it would rain, water would pour in here. I'd come out later and it would be, you know, there would be no standing water. It wouldn't be soaked like it had been, but you can see how the roof is still dripping right here. So I'm either going to try and fix that up there again because this is kind of tucked back in a corner or I'll end up having to put the umbrella up again this winter just to keep it from getting wet every time it rains because uh, most of the cactus I have is pretty much dormant in the winter so you don't want to be watering them and you certainly don't want them getting this much water but I don't know I'll figure that out later I don't think I'll put cactus back in the top too um, I don't know what I want to do with that I want, I want to put something there and you can see this big crack through here and we tried fixing it years ago and there was I think another one over here um, so the fountain wouldn't hold water it would constantly leak that's why I converted it to a planter because it was a cool fountain the water would pour all the way down and you know when I, I got it it was given to me I went and got a new pump for it it worked great but it was always there was always water on the ground underneath and there was algae you know the you know always growing on the patio here so I'm just like you know what I'm done I'm done trying to fix it. I'll just put plants in it. So I'm going to go get some soil and we'll be right back. Okay. So I got a couple new pieces of screen to put in there and I'm going to use the really, ugh. okay. You know, this is a small bag, but it's so heavy. So this is a really gritty mix that I get from Poots Nursery. So I'm going to use this. It's really well draining. And the nice thing is it already has um, a slow re release fertilizer in it. And since I'm just going to be putting cactus, I want something really gritty so it's gonna drain really well. So that, I think that's enough. I always put the soil level too high and then my top dressing just kind of falls off. 
So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get that out of the way. And now I just have to find enough little cactuses to put in here. And I do have quite a few that I have picked out. And this one's poking me. So let me go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's set this a little better. Can you see that? All right, so I've got these are the ones I bought at IKEA. If you saw my earlier video, um, and you know they're pretty small, and they probably won't grow too fast. So I might get, you know, I might get a year out of them. You know, these ones might grow a little faster, I think, than these, but. I think they'll look really cute. I did put another cactus. I don't know. It started, I think, even a little bit smaller than this. And they just took off. I don't remember exactly what they were. But, man, did they grow. And so, after, like, the second year, I pulled them out of here. And um, I repotted them into a, a, a regular pot in the ground over here and uh, they're absolutely massive now compared to what they were so I do want to separate these a little bit so that they won't um, so they won't get you know too close to each other so I'm trying to be careful with the roots I assume these all started as cuttings maybe I, I can't imagine these were grown from seed try not to get them too dirty because they're you know these are the fuzzy ones and I don't want to to get a bunch of soil on their <laughs> fur whatever you want to call it and I want most of the soil out of here because this is like it's like they plant them in peat and perlite it feels like that's all this is there's no grit in here it's very soft so I just want to get as much of it off of these roots as I can because this was going to hold a lot of a lot of moisture and I don't really want that and I forgot to bring my little brush I'll have to go and grab it so I think what I'm going to do is actually let me clean some more of this off of these ones too first uh, can you see me over here not that this is very interesting to watch I kind of probably should have done this off camera so you know, you just see <laughs> what you want, or you know, you can fast forward if you want to. Get all that perlite off of there, get most of that off of there. These are cool plants, and I did notice if you watch the video when I brought these home that this one in my hand has um, five ridges, and these other two have. Uh, so this one has, so you can see five ridges. This one I believe has seven. And this one has six. Ow! And I just stuck myself my leg. So, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Are they, are they different cactus? They look the same. They're the same color. Their spines are similar. But at the same time, they're all different. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Uh, this is murder on my back. It's just low enough that I have to bend over, but not quite low enough that I can just squat down. So I'm going to stick, and it, it's actually pretty deep. It doesn't seem like it is, but this soil is pretty deep in here. And what did I do with my tweezers? Because I've only got one glove. So I'm going to kind of separate these ones back into here get down in there I, I want to keep them clumped together because they're kind of cool looking and this thing keeps dripping on me over here <laughs> drip 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 and I think I put the yeah this is the smallest one I wanted this one kind of more to the front so this corner gets really hot it gets a lot of sun a lot more than anything else in this area here this is like the, it's like the last part of the stuff that's back in the porch area 
And so I think these cactus will like it here. And um, I will definitely like them here. So hopefully they'll be happy for at least a year. You know, and then I can, well, I can redo it with, you know, more small cactus or. Okay, I had to pause again because my battery keeps overheating. I don't, I don't get how people use their GoPros for, you know, some of the stuff they use them for. Ooh, look at the long roots on that one. I went ahead and pulled these out while I was waiting and kind of cleaned up their little root area. So I'll get these. So these ones are, you know, obviously a Mexican fence post cactus. You can just tell by looking at these. Tuck this one, this is the tallest one. And uh, not sure what top dressing I'm gonna use. I think just like the natural grit. I've got a couple yards of it still, so that'll make it easy. Um, and it'll give it kind of a deserty feel, which I like. Get some of this stuff off of here. Oh, broke a root. And then I think I'll put this one here. There is a lot of traffic. It's Sunday today, and it's cloudy. Like I said, we got a little bit of rain, not a lot, just enough to make everything smell fresh and clean. And um, it's about, I think about 65 degrees, which is really nice because it's, you know, the beginning of September. And last year in September, we had three days in a row of 115 here, which is just crazy hot, even for us. You know, near Sacramento, it's we don't typically get that hot, um, <clears throat> especially this late in the year. So I'm loving this cool weather. I'm not going to complain a bit. Okay, <clears throat> now I think <clears throat> none of these cactus were labeled. Um, those ones were just labeled assorted cactus. This one, <laughs> assorted cactus, four inch blooming. So, you know, whatever that means. I don't know. It looks tall, like maybe some sort of Echinopsis or Trichocereus. It doesn't look like a barrel type because it looks like it's growing taller and not round. And I think, oops, we got a little weed there. We want to get rid of that. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it in this little clump of soil. Maybe I'll take a little bit off around the top edge you know it's awful kind of also kind of peaty feeling where did i get these did i buy oh i you know what i bought these at the secret garden one of my favorite little local cactus succulent nurseries um, but i don't know where they get their plants from you know they come from all over the place and uh <clears throat> what is it a little bit of a little more roots over on the side. Let's get some of this off of here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna stick this one back in the corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love this mix from Poots. It's just so nice and gritty and, but yet the cactus love it. So let's stick you down in there. Straighten you up. And then, let's kind of pour that back in the back. And, oops, I didn't want that. All that yucky stuff. Oops, I'm just, I'm just making a mess. But that's okay. I can clean it back up. Okay, so tamp you down a little bit. Yeah, I think this will probably be a fairly slow growing one. And you know, the nice thing is about cactus and succulents, is if they start to take over their space, you can just pull them out. They don't care. You just move them, put them somewhere else and uh, let them keep growing because, um, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna lose them. You don't want them getting damaged or sick. So here again, these both look like, the, like a, a taller, like they're gonna grow taller because they're more straight than they are round. Um, 
I don't know what they are. They just, same thing, uh, assorted. But they were small and they were just like, I don't know, probably, I think I paid three or four dollars for them. Does it say how much I paid? Oh, I actually paid nine dollars for that one. No, I paid nine dollars for them, okay. So they're a little pricey for such little babies, but that's okay. That's okay. Gently pull them apart. They got a lot of roots. You can hear the roots kind of. So I don't want to water these right away because uh, I can I can tell I'm doing a little bit of damage. You know, you're breaking some of the roots. Even though you try to be careful, it's hard not to break some, you know, some of them off. And you just want to give those roots a chance to heal up a little before you really water them. And so I think what I'll do, I don't think we're planning on getting any more rain, but I think what I'll do, yeah, see how tall that one is? Um, I think I'll put the umbrella up so that, ow, I keep poking myself, so that it, um, yeah, you know, it keeps them from getting too wet over here. This little guy right here. Whoa, I need a handful of dirt that around you. Push it down. Tuck that back in. This is going to look really cute. I'm probably going to need something else to go in here. I think I'll put this little this little one let me get some of the soil off of here off of the top part very gently this one's got some pretty nasty spines on it break that up a little bit why you know what I think they put them in peat to make them grow a little faster you know so they they're getting more watered and I think I think somebody I think I heard somebody say that one time that that's why they because I mean any nursery is gonna know peat is not a good thing to grow cactus in but assuming whoever buys them is gonna come right home and repot them you know they can pretty much put them in whatever medium they want and uh, you know, once you once you take them home, they're your responsibility. So I guess they they just plant them in whatever's gonna make them really grow the fastest. Okay, so that down a little bit. Oops, sorry about that. Bumping you. Okay, okay, okay. I just kind of wanna. Ow. I want this one a little bit deeper, but it's up towards the edge, so it doesn't have a lot of room to go down deeper. So I need something in this area, so stay tuned. I'm going to go see if I can snag something from somewhere else. Okay, so I found a little gymnocolisium, and it looks pretty sun-stressed. It bloomed for me a couple of times this year. Yeah, so I don't know how focus that is but it's small and I think I'll just uh, I think I'll just pop this in here um, I don't remember where I got it I'm thinking I bought a couple of plants at a nursery out of town and one of them had a couple of gymnocolisium pups at the bottom of it that were just that just were growing so I kind of got a few little bonus plants and my pigs are in the house making all kinds of racket. I don't know what they're up to. I need to go check on them. So let's get this out of there. And, uh, ooh, nice green. Oh yeah, it's pretty root bound in here. So it'll probably like being in here. So I'm gonna stick it right here. And this is one of the ones that, you know, I have a few of these that I've had actually for years and they, they're very small. I don't think they're supposed to get bigger. So this'll be good here. And I think it'll be happier here. I think, I hope. So let's, uh, let's see. Okay, get you all tucked in there. And I think, I think that's good. They're not too close to the edge, so when I water them, 
you know the water's not going to be rolling off i've had a i've had a time <laughs> before so i'll be right back i'm going to go figure out what kind of top dressing i'm going to get okay so i'm all finished i just went ahead and put the top dressing on and i threw in a few little rocks that i had got a little tortoise in there he's cute isn't he cute <laughs> Um, there's an otter back there, a little teeny tiny otter. And then this little god that my grandfather always had, he always kind of reminded me of like, you know, South Pacific, Polynesian, Hawaiian kind of thing. I always thought he was cool. And so I've had him for 20 years now. And my grandfather, he had him as long as I could remember. I don't know where he originally came from, but yeah. So I kind of like how that looks. Um... I can probably leave these little cactus in here for a year or two. And the nice thing is they will get a lot of sun back in this corner because although my little maple tree here, that's in the shade by about 10 o'clock. This corner over here and this side is the last. It sometimes will be in the sun until 2 o'clock, maybe a little later, maybe 3. I can't remember. Um, but I will have to put my umbrella up because that's still dripping. So I didn't water it in, but what I did do was just give it a quick rinse over the top because it was kind of dusty from the, the gravel. But I like that. It won't take much care. I won't have to hardly water it, um, you know, as much as some of this stuff needs to be watered every, you know, like about twice a week. Um, some of these are water almost every day, um, like those hanging plants up there. Yeah, so I kind of, I, I like how that looks. Um, I still have plants here that I got to figure out what I'm going to do with. It's just an addiction to buy plants. You got to stop it at some point because <laughs> you don't have any room to put them. Look at the red on that. It's still so beautiful. Oh, and you know what I noticed? As long as you're here, um, my uh, blue elf is sending up another flower this late in the year. How funny is that? It's the only one. I've checked all the other ones, but yeah, for some reason it wants to wants to put up another flower in this little echeveria down here, a little topsy-turvy, it's blooming. And that's only the second topsy-turvy that I've had that have bloomed. Most of them die. I have, a, I have a, a hard time with them, they struggle. I don't think they like our heat and our sun. And this plant gets sun pretty late, but look at the color right now. Wow, just, a, just amazing. I don't know where I'm gonna put this thing, but it definitely needs to be repotted, get the weeds out of there put in a really nice pot and uh, these big ones over here too. This one is a San Pedro that I bought at ooh, Green Acres. Did I get it there? Or Home Depot, but it was labeled. So I know that what that one is. Um, this one, I'm not really sure. I think it's pretty common, um, but I, I'll need to figure it out. If anybody knows exactly what this tall guy here is, um, it'll have a white flower. Like I said, I'm not sure. I don't think that flower's opened yet. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I've had it for uh, two days. I got it yesterday and it wasn't open. It looked just like that. And typically once they close up, they they seem to, to go limp pretty quickly. And that one's still sticking out. So I'm hoping it's gonna open. But otherwise, yeah, I cleaned it up a little bit in here. And so that was it. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I am going to be redoing my succulent gutters today or tomorrow. I'll make another video when I do that. I'll probably do it tomorrow because it's uh, it's almost 11 now. It's only 65, 66 degrees. It's really nice, still cloudy. But I think I wanna water those succulent gutters really good first because I am probably gonna be chopping them all off and then resetting them as cuttings. And that way they'll be, they'll be watered. I won't have to worry about them for a while. So yeah, that's it for now. And uh, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and um, we'll see you next time.